So hi guys, welcome back to LD Gaming. So in today's video, we will be doing some maintenance work on our um setup. So as you guys can see, um even though that we have um recently just um built the setup or assembled the setup, there are times that we need to um maintain it right away, such as when there is dust, um dirt and stuff like that that is creeping out of your um, components or peripheral such as your keyboard especially since your keyboard is one of the most um, uh, is the peripheral that you most touch or you touch the most since um, you type on it and as well as your mouse so in today's video our agenda for today is we will be cleaning our um, keyboard so I'll show you guys on the condition of my keyboard which I think is really common to us um computer enthusiasts who are always um or always sitting and doing some computer work on on our um everyday life so here we go l c gaming so here is my setup as of the moment. So um sorry for the um mess. Um those are my um necessary belongings. So here as you guys can see here is our here is our keyboard, our Razer Black Widow X Chroma Gun Metal Edition. So as you guys can see, um you think that there is no um dirt or any dust that is in there between your keyboard, but as you guys can see as I zoom in and uh, I don't know if this camera, the, why does this camera doesn't focus? As you guys can see, there is oil such as this one. There is oil on, on the top of your um, keycaps. And there's also dust seeping in between those um, keycaps such as this one. When I remove this, wait, this one, easier. As you guys can see, there is dust and grime that is in between those um, keycaps. So what we need to do now is to... Um, maintain or clean this um, nice keyboard that we have so yeah so for now what we need to what we need to do is to um, remove all of this first clean this up and prepare our keyboard for um, cleaning so now that we have successfully um, cleared everything your desk is clear already of any obstruction that will hinder you from cleaning you will now think that what is needed for you to clean um, a mechanical keyboard. So here are the simple um, things that you, that you need to clean your um, mechanical keyboard. So first what you need is some microfiber towel. So or any actually a microfiber microfiber towel is recommended, but it's not necessarily a microfiber towel since you just need to wipe your the dust off your keyboard. And you don't want it to be wet, so you just need a um, towel. And the next thing that you need is a paintbrush or any brush that you need, or any brush rather, since um, you just you just need to to um, brush those dust away in between those um, holes and and those um, keycaps, as well as those um, what they call this those switches that are getting dust. And next, now for the keycaps, how will you remove grime or oil with like the uh, sweat that's that's on top of your keycaps? So what you need is um, some uh, dishwashing soap to remove the grime and also some uh, microwavable container to be filled with some water since you will remove those keycaps and um, let them sit in dishwashing liquid and water so that you will be able to remove those cram and dirt within those keycaps so let's start before starting any um, cleaning on your keyboard first you need to shut down your um, desktop first since you don't want it to be um, damaged your keyboard doesn't want to be damaged because electrical current doesn't want to be with any liquid or any water content so let's shut this down So now that you are done shutting down your system, what you need to do now is to um, take a picture of your um, keyboard. So as you could remember, the no, the keys where you where it is really placed, and as not to mess up the sequence or the layout of your keyboard, since you will be removing every single one of these keys 
so that you could clean them very well so let's now take a picture of it and there so now we are ready for some disassembling so here you go we have we are finally done removing our keycaps so look why are you why did you leave those um large um keycaps there so we left it there because it is very hard to um, remove them and we remove first the, the small ones or the normal keycaps since these uh, for you to remove these long keys you need to remove their um, metal retainers just like this one here on the um, backspace case. you guys can see it is fully removed from our um, key but there is a uh, metal retaining arm and what you need to do here is to be careful on pulling out those metals as they are clipped on those um, plastic pins just like this one so you need to be careful very careful not to snap any of those plastic pins off especially um these are very fragile so what you need to do is to pull it down then then pull it like this and there you go you have successfully removed the keycap from the metal retaining brackets so what you need to do is to um just let the bracket there or you can fully remove it if you want to since we are just going to brush this um uh, keyboard we are going to leave those there and not um so there just simple as that just remove it and why did I leave this it is very hard to remove this large um keys when there are other keys around so it is um it is uh, really recommended that you leave this last in removing those keycaps so there it's easy as that just sliding it off to the other side then pulling it out on the other side so there another one here there and for the sh for the space bar it's gonna be tricky since it's a little big so you just um is this full so there um yeah as you guys can see um this one the retaining bracket pulled up fully so what you need to do is to put it like that and put it back like so so that you won't um, misplace your retaining metal bars so there you guys can see it's there already next is your um zero of your numpad like that your plus key and I think we need to remove the enter first since it's right beside it and no does it help and there see you need to remove you need to move this aside first since it gets in the way of um in removing your keys so there you go we have successfully removed everything so now what we need to do now is to dump it all in a plastic container like this one so place it all there like so so here is your um container just um put it down like that then put some dishwashing liquid so this is this is our dishwashing liquid open it up then put some there to remove the grease of your um keycaps there and close it so that you don't spill anything there you go then put some um water in there so we need a little more and there as you guys can see it's sitting down it's bubbling just let it be so that you could re uh, it will remove the the oils and the dirt in inside those keycaps and set it aside first such as there set it aside first and let's get back to our main um keyboard frame so now that we are here on our keyboard frame as you guys can see there is some paper there some uh dirt some um remnants of some food if you are eating while playing something like that so what you need to do now is to get your brush so as you guys can see we have a paint brush um i don't have access to a smaller one but it is recommended to have a smaller one so this one is a one and one half inch paint brush i recommend having um some 
half inch paintbrush so that you could get to those um, nitty gritty smaller sections of your keyboard. So what you need, what you need to do now is to first um, remove some of those um, dust. There's some hair there, as you guys can see, and there's some still some what's this um, cloth strings, something like that. So what you need to do now is to just brush them off, since our keyboard is not water um, water resistant or spill resistant, unlike the Corsair one. So this one is the Razer Black Widow X Chroma, since it is not. A water resistant and even though that it is water resistant it is not not recommended for you to be um, wiping this down with some uh, like soapy water and stuff then wiping it off so I suggest like brushing it off like that so as to remove every um, dust or dirt that is left on your um, keyboard so as you guys can see, um, you can see some of the dirt um, being removed. Some hair are being um, removed as well, but some are still intact. So what you need to do is to have different passes or several passes when removing your uh, for when removing the dirt on your keyboard. So as you guys can see, we have successfully removed our um, the dirt on our keyboard. But as you guys can see, there is still some grime. Um, left on the keyboard such as this one the sides here as well some oil coming from your hands sweat and stuff like that so what you need to do now is to get your um, microfiber towel such as this one then um, just wipe it just dump it on your solution here so you guys can see the uh, dishwashing soap and water mixture so so dump some not all so dump just dump it like that so it's slightly wet it's not that wet to that not enough to damage your your computer and rub it in the the open areas where you think that oil could uh, are still stuck on your keyboard so just rub it like this like that so now that we have um, successfully wiped down everything on our um, keyboard frame what we need to do now is to um, towel it dry so that um, everything will be um, free from water and free from dirt because um, water mixed with um, electric current will definitely damage or destroy our um, keyboard so well, let's just wipe it down with our towel for our keycaps um, make sure that everything um, every key is soaked in um, in your solution your dishwashing solution so that every every oil is left on the solution itself so now that it is sitting there for about um 10 minutes while we are cleaning our um keyboard frame so now we are um we are now rinsing this in running water then afterwards we will be um toweling it dry or uh or having it face in a electric fan or blow dryer right after toweling them dry just to be sure that it is squeaky clean and dry so as you guys can see we are now finally done um, rinsing our um, keycaps as you guys see here it is free from any oil sort of it is just water plain water so what we need to do now is to make our keycaps as dry as possible So now that we have successfully wiped everything down, we are now going to um, place them back. So as you guys can see, it is pretty dry. So as you guys can see, it's pretty clean as well. There is no more um, residue uh, focus. So there, there is no more residue of, of any oil or smudge, anything there. And also as, as you can see, it's pretty dry as well. No more traces of any water and stuff like that. So let's um, put them back so as you guys can see it is now very clean just like it came out of the box so um, yeah it looks good it looks clean so let's fire it up
So that's it guys. Once again, if you like this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to LD Gaming for more tips and tricks like this one. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.